hey, howdy, hey, all you wildcats and kittens out there, and welcome to our WLHW show of the week. Do you know that we only have four more episodes after this one? We are so close to the end of the school year. Keep on putting your best foot forward, as we will, and keep on having fun. If you want to be involved in our show, feel free to join us anytime. Submit a segment, get involved, show what you're good at, the talents and skills that you're interested in, or maybe just share a little knowledge with us. Today, we are going to share some knowledge with you, and we're going to start that off with World News with Grace. Take it away, Grace. Hey, Wildcats, it's May 12th, and it's time for Global News. Let's get started. First up, a couple weeks ago, Pfizer submitted a vaccine to the FDA for approval for kids ages 12 to 15. There was not much intel on whether the FDA would approve this vaccine, but now there is. The FDA is supposed to approve a vaccine in the coming week. We'll keep you posted as this information comes in. Next up, last week was Cinco de Mayo. This is a holiday celebrated in Mexico heavily, as well as by people of Mexican descent. This day celebrates a battle won by Mexico on this date, May the 5th, in the Franco-Mexican War. This holiday is not to be confused with Mexican Independence Day, which is on September 16th. Let's take a look at some years past of celebrations. Finally, don't forget to check out Locker Talk with Emma and Giselle. You thought I wasn't going to do a pun. Well, I cracked right through that suspicion. Well, that's all I've got for you, Wildcats. See you next time on Global News. Thanks so much, Grace. Hey, friends. Today, we have Alchemy Carlson back with her segment about the portrayal of LGBTQ plus individuals in the media. Her editorial focuses on what she sees, and I'm excited to ex have your brains expand and understand a different point of view. Hi, it's Alchemy, and for this week's segment of LGBTQ plus portrayal in our modern media and entertainment, we'll be exploring the concept of last minute gays as a sort of semi-sequel to the Bury Your Gays segment. The idea of the last minute gay is pretty fluid. Oftentimes it refers to when a character confesses their love to another character of the same gender or shares a sexuality some other way at the very end of a show. Another meaning is that a character will reveal their sexuality right before death, but most categorize this into the bury your gays trope. Confessing love right before the end of a show is problematic. It means that we can't explore the relationship, which dehumanizes the character's love and queer relationships as a whole. Also, it's just mean. People get attached to characters, and the producers are like, yeah, but you don't care that much about their feelings, right? A good example of this is Marceline and Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time, who had a single kiss at the end of the show, even though their feelings had been hinted at since the beginning. At this point, many of the original audience weren't even watching anymore, which just means that the people who were first invested didn't even get to see it. This might be for ad revenue purposes, as people won't stop watching the show when they see a queer character or relationship because there isn't one. However, we shouldn't have to surrender to the industry play of queer stories being safer at the very end or even in the background. Thank you so much for sharing, Alchemy. Now friends, I might be a little biased towards this next one because I'm a history teacher. But guess what? We have On This Week in History with Emma Black. Take it away, Emma. Hello, all Wildcats, and welcome to your On This Week in History fact. The first fact that I have for you today is that on May 10th, there were two famous men's deaths. These men include Stonewall Jackson in 1863 and Paul Revere in 1818. On May 12th, a famous discovery was discovered. It declared that smoking was linked to the increase in heart attacks. The discovery was made in 1964. Last fact that I have for you today is that in 1804, on May 14th, the famous Lewin and Clark expedition began. Well, Wildcats, that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you next week. Bye. Woo! My brain is getting full, but I still think there's little more room for learning. So next up, we have random interesting facts with Kat. 
Let's see what she's got. Thanks, Cat. My friends, you remember like last week when we had the crazy weather and we were stuck in school and the wind was blowing and the trees fell down? Well, and thinking of that, we have our friend Alyssa back with us with Crazy Weather. Take it away, Alyssa. Hello, Wildcats, and welcome to Natural Disaster News. Since it's the beginning of spring and it's feeling like it too, this will be a spring-themed episode. Tropical Storm Andreas became the earliest tropical storm ever recorded in history when it appeared on radars on May the 9th. Keep in mind that hurricane season will be from June 1st through November 30th. That's the 2021 hurricane season. Early hurricane season, I guess. <laughs> Why not? There might be a unfortunate flash flood in New Orleans. That's only a possibility, though. Uh, maybe. Hopefully not. And a chunk of a highway actually th flew through someone's front car glass window. And since it's May and the it was the end of April, that means there will be a lot of thunderstorms and rain. And softball-sized hailstones fall, damaging things in Texas and Oklahoma. Also, apparently there won't be Greek letters, like after they use things, after they use their normal hurricane names, so that's kind of weird. I'll do more research on it, find out exactly why, but thank you for coming to this episode, and hope to see you soon. Bye! Thanks, Alyssa. Next up, guys, to celebrate our cute and cuddly friends, and I don't need my violin back there, I mean our animals, we have fun animal facts with sirens. Hey guys, I'm back from all Mantle Facts. Today, all the dogs and cats, but he does not love them. First up, we have dogs. Their sense of smell is at least 40 times better than ours. Wow. Some have such good noses, they can sniff out medical problems like cancer. Dogs can sniff at the same time as breathing. Some dogs are incredible swimmers. Some are fast and even can be the cheetah. Dogs can't sweat like we do. Your dog can be right or left paw. Cats spend between 30 to 50% of their day grooming themselves. Purring doesn't always mean a cat is happy. It's possible that purring helps bone density. A cat's nose has catnip receptors, but most cats don't respond to catnip. Cats make great private detectives, I bet. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it's kind of hard to re remember all this fun information I'm learning about, I'll make sure I take some notes. And if you want to take some notes on the next summit, do so. Because we got Queenie here with a wonderful book review. Okay, cool. Hi, and welcome to my second clip on WHW. Today, I'll be reviewing the book, Dear Martin. Senior in high school, Justice McAllister is in the top of his class and captain of the debate team. However, none of that matters when he's put in handcuffs by an officer for a misunderstanding. In this book, he writes letters to Martin Luther King Jr., and it follows the life of a black individual trying to get into a major league school and facing the prejudices of everyone around him. Woo! I got a full belly of learning here, guys. And you know what goes good with a full belly of learning? Hopefully, something tasty made by Olivia in her kitchen. Take it away, Olivia. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Olivia, and today I am going to be showing you how to make cheesy baked eggs for one. So for ingredients, you'll need one teaspoon salted butter, softened. You'll need two large eggs, two teaspoons heavy cream, two tablespoons shredded cheddar cheese, one tablespoon grated Parmesan cheese, one eighth teaspoon salt, and one eighth teaspoon pepper. 
For the instructions, heat the oven to 400 degrees, coat the inside of a ramekin with butter, I'll show you a picture, whisk together the eggs and cream in a small bowl, not the ramekin, um, stir in the cheeses, salt and pepper, and then pour into the ramekin and bake for 15 to 18 minutes or until eggs are set. Then let cool for five minutes and enjoy. Well, my friends, that was a fantastic show. And if you want to be part of WLHW, if you want to get on the core crew, on the advisory group that does all of the editing, the lighting, the camera shoots, the segments, the building, the thinking, the planning, keep tuned for our auditions will be in the first week of June. And we'll send more information out in this week's newsletters. And soon you'll hear some announcements here on the show as well as in the school. Good luck, my friends, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.